Hi, are you ready to take on the challenge of sewing your mindset flag? Now take a deep breath if you get frustrated. It will come to some points where you might be challenged. But remember what our mindsets are and give yourself some time to practice as well. So what we're going to do is create a seam on the top of our flags like this so that we can string them so that they hang above the office hallway just like this. This is what we're using, that green string in our containers, which we went over for, is to double check that it can string like this. So I'll explain how we do this in just a moment. You should double check before that you have your four threads, your four pins, which is the one with the yellow top, your four needles, and your green string before you begin. Keep in mind that you have this sheet here to double check as well. Now I'm going to go through this step by step so you can walk through this with me. So make sure that you have all of your materials ready to go. I'm going to, I have my front of my flag this way, I'm going to flip it around because what we're doing is creating the back side right now. By folding it over, we're just going to fold it over our fingers like this. It doesn't have to be very uh, big. You don't want to do it half of your fabric, just a little bit. And this is again to string this green string through. Now we're going to take a pin and stick it through the back in the middle. Then in the front, pushing it flat up against the fabric. See that? And then pushing it back this way and straightening it out so it lays like this. The reason that we hold our fabric in place with a pin is so that it doesn't move around when we're trying to sew it. Also, now is your time to test before to make sure that this goes all the way through. So I'm testing it from the top. Does this string through? Yep, I'm going to bunch it up. Bunch it up. And if it can pull through, then you're good. You don't have to move this then. Now keep in mind we also have all of these step-by-step -step directions. So you might want to watch this, then pause the video, and go back to this. To begin, we're going to grab a color thread and a needle. And taking one hand with our thread and then spreading it out. Whoops! If that happens, just pick it up. Spreading it out to our arm. This is what we call an arm span of fabric, or of uh, thread. Then I'm going to cut this here, cut that, put my thread back for others to use, and then we have to practice threading this through our eye of our needle. This can be a little bit of a challenge. I make sure that I have my hands close to the end of my string here. So I have a little bit more control, and I've been practicing this for a long time, so it's a little bit easier for me. You just have to have a steady hand, you have to be careful, and then pull it through. A lot of the time people have been making their knots up here. Our knots are at the bottom of our string, but we only have one string, so what we're going to do is take our string that's at the top here, See this one? And pull it down till it meets the bottom. So now our string is in half. We have two strings actually. You see those two strings? And then at the opposite end, not where our needle is, but at the end of our string, we're going to make a knot. Knot can be a little bit difficult, so watch these steps. 
and I'll hold my string tight like this or taut, wrap it around my finger, cross my finger so I have an X, you see that X? Then I can hold it with my two fingers and then my string that's behind goes around and through my loop and pull it. Now you have just a tiny little knot like that. Next we're going to then pin it or start sewing it on the back side. You want to find the end, not the top, but the bottom of your flap. And we're going to push this through at that spot here, push through, pull it. So now I'm at the front of my fabric where my name is. And we're going to make what we call a stitch. I'm going to make sure that I don't have my knot through. So I'm going to double check that my knot is on the back side. You see where that knot is? Right here. That's on the back side of my fabric where my pin is. I'm going to make a stitch on the front though by just jumping my needle from one spot down a little bit and pushing it through. See that? When I pull it, when I pull it and it looks like that, that's what we call our first stitch. The stitch is the thread that we see when we're sewing. Now we're looking at the back side and if we pull our string with our with our knot back a little bit you see there's that knot and we look really closely at our knot and our fabric. Let me hold, pull this down. Here's our knot Here's our fabric, and in between is a loop. See that loop? That's because we have two pieces of thread. We're going to put our needle through that loop and pull it, and that's going to secure that knot from going through that fabric. I'm going to cut off my extra string so we're not confused by it that extra string can go in the garbage. Next then, we're going to jump and make continuous stitches from this side all the way to this side. So I'm going to continue to jump, push it through, and pull it. And not too hard so you don't want this to start puckering like it did. I'll show you a second again. Push it through and pull it. If it starts to get caught, just undo it with your fingers and pull it through. No big deal. Then push it through and pull it, pull it, pull it. If I pull it too much, this is what I meant by my fabric starting to pucker. It starts to fold in towards itself like an accordion. You want to make sure that you make it nice and flat because we want these to lay flat. Now I'm going to move through this a little bit quickly so that um, I can get to the end. But you take your time and making small stitches like we have here with not too much space in between. You can check if your finger is bigger than the space in between, it's too big. If your stitches are bigger than your finger, then that's too much in between too. What I mean is like your finger like that. So I'm going to continue to sew by pushing it back and forth. And I'm doing a trick here, like the accordion fold that I told us not to do, but I'm making sure that when I pull it, I pull it all the way through and lay it down flat. See like that? 
Now I got to the end. I've got my stitches in the front. Now I'm at the end and I end it in the back. I'm going to take my string and I've got lots of string left here. So if you have anything less than the length of your needle, you're going to have to end it before that. You want to make sure that you have at least your needle length so that you can do the last step. And that would be going under the last stitch. You see this last stitch here? I'm going underneath that loop. I'm pulling it through. And now we see this loop here. We're going to go through this loop and pull that one all the way down till you get a knot. I'm going to show you again. Go underneath the stitch, go through that loop, and pull it down to the fabric till you get a knot, like we do right there. Then you can cut it. I'm going to take my extra string off of my needle. My needle goes back in my white bucket. I'm going to try this out by pulling off my pin, putting that back, pushing this through here, trying it again to make sure that it's going to be able to be strung. See how I bunched it up? Then I pull it through. If it holds like this without empty spaces and it's nice and secure, then you are all done sewing give yourself a silent cheer that was a lot of work next step is to start drawing out your symbols on the front side with your name have fun